guys and welcome back to my channel today we're gonna be doing a full face tutorial I haven't done a full face tutorial in a while I thought that this would be a perfect opportunity for you guys to see my updated foundation routine and what products I use today I will be using some new products that I haven't used in the past so Today will be kind of new for me as well as new for you. And I will also be using the Serpentina palette by Kat Von D today for my eyeshadow look. Um, this will be my first time using the palette. It is fairly new. It's been out for a while, but it is still fairly new. But although it's fairly new, I've had the palette since the second day it was out. I just haven't had time to do a tutorial. I've been doing a lot of freelance work. I also traveled this past week with my coworker Hannah and we vlogged about it. If you haven't already seen that vlog, don't forget to click the link in my description box to check out that road trip vlog. But yeah, today I'll be using the Kat Von D Serpentina palette. And if you guys wanna see how I got this completed full face look, you know what to do. Stay tuned. Okay, first we're gonna start off by filling in our brows. And I'm just gonna brush it with a spoolie just to get my brows in place. Now I'm gonna take a product that I've been using lately. It's by Ardell. It's the Brow Pomade in Dark Brown. You can get this product at Sally's Beauty Supply Store. It's really super cheap and I love the consistency of it. It's not too slick and it's not too thick either. So I'm gonna start at the arch of my brow and I'm just gonna fill it in slowly with slow strokes. Go around the arch of the brow and down to the tail. Filling in as you go. And you don't wanna put too much product on the brush because you don't want your brows too dark. This product is very dark. A little product goes a long way. I don't really fill in the beginning of the brow too much. I want it to look very natural. All right, once you're done filling in the brow, you're then gonna take some concealer. You can use the same shade as your foundation or you can go a shade above the foundation. I'm gonna go a shade above my foundation color just so that the brow bone can be a little bit highlighted. And I'm gonna use the MAC Studio Finish Concealer. I'm using it in the shade NC45. I'm gonna use the same angle brush and I'm gonna go underneath the brow. Using concealer comes in handy when you need a brow wax or brow thread because it covers that extra hair up that you don't want to be seen. So in my case, it's perf right now. Perfecto. Okay, so Blend it downward so that you can blend it out. Get rid of the harsh one. Now I'm gonna blend it out with a blending brush. This brush came out of the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance palette. And I just use it to blend out my concealer for my brow highlight. Blend it out really nicely. All right, so once you're done finishing your brows, I like to move on to prepping my face. So I'm gonna start off with a moisturizer. This moisturizer is by Mary Kay. This is like the only product I use for Mary Kay. I love their skincare products. This one right here is the only one I'm using at the time. When I was a teenager, my mom bought a lot of Mary Kay products and I just, grew to love their skincare line so i'm using the time wise day solution sunscreen broad spectrum it has an spf of 35. the sunscreen protection is amaze balls and it's a daytime moisturizer so i'm just gonna rub that in it's always good to have a moisturizer that has good moisture in it that's gonna hydrate the skin as well as work as a sunscreen protection like all that in one is perfect so why not get that all right so once you're done 
moisturizing your face you're then going to apply your face primer whatever that might be usually I use max skin based primer but today I'm gonna use dr. Brent's um, pore refiner primer it's really good for um, people with really large pores I myself don't necessarily have large pores but I do have pores on my nose I basically put it in my t-zone like I really don't put it anywhere else because that's where my pores mainly like to congregate like they they like to be in this area so that's where I'm gonna put this primer dolling all right now that you have your moisturizer and your primer on I'm going to move along to the eyes I like to do my foundation and everything last because I hate fallout on my makeup. That is like my number one pet peeve. Like I cringe when my eyeshadow falls out onto my foundation. I be like, why? Okay guys, so first we're gonna start off with an eyeshadow primer. I'll be using Soft Okra. It's by MAC Cosmetics. This is like the only eyeshadow primer I use. Like I haven't gotten hooked on anything else. Like this is like perfect because it's a cream base and it's not too thick and it's not too sheer. And it's really good because it goes on like a neutral shade and it's a good base because I like to start off with a neutral platform. So this is perf. So just Try to cover your entire lid, darlings. It's time to eat. So I'm gonna blend it out really good, to darlings. All right, so once you're done blending, you can move along to your eyeshadow. All right, so although we're gonna be using the Serpentina palette by Kat Von D for most of the eyeshadow look today, I'm going to take my transition color from the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance Palette. I'm going to use the shade Burnt Orange. It's right here with a MAC 224 brush right here. And I'm going to pop Burnt Orange right in my crease. Just because I want a soft transition color. Because the Serpentina palette is really colorful. So I want my color to be on the lid. So I'm going to use a soft transition color. So you want to pop it right in the crease. Go back and forth with windshield wiping motion. Make sure it's blended really good and buffed out evenly. Okay, I lied. I need another color from the Anastasia Beverly Hills palette. We're going to use the color regular. Because I want to deepen the crease just a little bit more so I'm gonna pop it right under burnt orange in the crease all right guys now moving along to the serpentina palette by Kat Von D okay so guys I think I'm going to go with the shade Queen because it's it's really pretty and I'm just gonna pop it onto the lid it's not as shimmery as I thought it was gonna be it looks it looks a little bit more shimmery from the from the palette. I'm gonna be using my pro palette to use the black. So yeah, I'm gonna add some black to the end of it. Just to add a little bit more depth to this look. Cause it looks a little bit flat right now. Don't worry about if you get fall. We can clean that up later. Okay, so because my camera overheated and had to cut off in order to cool down, I went ahead and just um, brought that black shade into the inner corner just a little bit and I went ahead and did the other side as well. Because I thought that the shade from the Serpentina palette was going to be a little bit more shimmery and have more glitter in it. I'm going to add some pigment because I want it to be shimmery because that's what I thought it was going to be. So yeah, I'm going to add some pigment to this look to make it pop a little bit more. Alright guys, so I'm going to be adding the MAC Rose Pigment to this eyeshadow look because it's similar to the Serpentina shadow. So I'm just going to add some of the pigment just to make the eyeshadow pop and stand out a little bit more. Alright, 
So, moving on along to foundation. I'm going to be using a new foundation, something I've never tried before. It's by Estee Lauder. It's the Double Wear Foundation. And I've heard a lot about this product and that it's amazing and it has a lot of coverage and it's just amazeball. So, I was like, why not try it? So, I bought a box of the Double Wear. All right, it doesn't come with a pump, so you're just going to twist it off and... I don't know how it seems pretty liquidy so I'm gonna apply it to my 128 MAC brush it's a foundation brush and I'm just gonna pour it onto the brush and I'm gonna apply it like so I'm using the shade sandalwood that's the shade I was matched with I did not match myself like I normally do someone matched me so let's hope that it is the correct color. It looked like the correct color in the store, so hopefully it doesn't look crazy on camera. Mm, it looks pretty orange on camera, but hopefully once I get done with my entire face, it doesn't look so orange. I think maybe they run orange in the deeper shades. But hopefully I can camouflage it with the rest of my face products. So far I'm liking the coverage of it. It is full coverage. I loving it. Okay, I think I've gotten every crevice of the face with the foundation. So we can now move along to concealer. I'm also going to be trying a new concealer. It's by Tarte Cosmetics in the shade tan and it's the shape tape contour concealer i'm super excited about it because when i swatched it in a store it had a lot of coverage it didn't look like it was gonna crease because of how thick it is and it comes with a brush so i'm just gonna apply it with the brush i usually just do my under eyes i don't usually do my nose and my chin i just stick to my under eye I'm gonna spray the sponge with some Fix Plus just to loosen up the concealer because it's super thick. This shade reminds me of MAC um, Pro Longwear Concealer in NC42. And that's, that's what I normally use for my under eye highlight. So it does remind me of the color I use normally. Okay, now I'm gonna apply my setting powder. This is also a new powder that I'm going to try. It's by Kat Von D. It's the translucent powder that she came out with. I'm gonna put it under my eyes. Okay, so I'm gonna leave this on for a second and then I'm gonna brush it off with my um, powder brush. All right, so now I'm gonna dust it away. Okay, so now I'm going to take my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Powder in the shade Dark to go around the perimeter of my face just to warm it up a little bit. Alright, so now I'm going to contour my face with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit with the shade Expresso. I'm just going to go into the hollows of my cheekbones. Okay, now I'm going to apply some blush. It's by MAC Cosmetics. It's called Burnt Pepper. It's like my go-to blush. If you've been watching my tutorials, you would know that. Alright, now I'm going to apply some highlights. It's the Anastasia Glow Kit in that glow. It's my favorite highlighter to use. I'm going to be using golden bronze and dripping in gold mixed together. And you just want to apply it to the highest point of your cheekbone. And I also apply it to my cupid's bow. Alright, now moving along to lips. I'm going to be applying some liner by MAC Cosmetics. It's called Half Red. And I'm going to apply that first. And then I'm going to apply the lipstick in Pink Plaid. It's also by MAC Cosmetics. It's like a soft pink. Then I'm going to apply the lip gloss in Robust. 
It's also by MAC. It's a plush glass. Okay, now last, but definitely not least, we're gonna move on to lashes. And that completes this look for today. I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I enjoyed making the full face tutorial because I haven't done one in a while. And I know you guys wanted to see what I do on a daily basis and what's my foundation routine. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys learned a lot from it. And if you have any questions or comments for me, don't forget to put them down in the comment box below. I will respond because I respond to all of you guys. As far as the palette goes, I really wasn't wowed by the palette. It was pretty much like any other palette I've purchased before. Like, I've bought palettes where like, after putting it on my eyes, I was just like, wow, oh my God, this palette is amazing. But I just didn't get that from the Serpentina. Maybe I have to play with it a little bit more. I am going to keep it. I'm not going to return it because I do want to play with the other shades in the palette. Because there are a lot of nice shades and I've only used one of them so far. And it does come with a pigment. So I will be playing with it more. Um, but first impressions, I would give it like a 6 out of a 10. Um, with 10 being like wow and one being like poo. So yeah, I'd, I'd give it a six. I really enjoyed doing the full face tutorial. I know it's been a while since I've done one. So I wanted to give you guys one today. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. I will see you guys in the next tutorial. Bye.